In a previous video, Cuckoo, the British Panther tank, I dealt with the story of the German Panther captured by the British Army intact in a barn and used in action in the Netherlands. But you may be surprised to know that Cuckoo wasn't the only example of the British adopting a German big cat. In Italy in 1944, another panther tank was captured and used in action. Welcome to the almost unknown story of Deserter, the panther that changed sides. The fighting in Italy has been largely overshadowed by the Normandy landings and the campaign in northwest Europe. The war in Italy was very tough, with British, US and Commonwealth forces slowly battling their way north against determined and clever German occupation troops, who fought from one defence line to the next. Tanks were only able to play a limited role in Italy, due to the terrain, as it was primarily an infantryman's war. The panzer tanks operating in Italy at this time in 1944 belonged to Panzer Regiment 4, part of the 26th Panzer Division. In October 1944, Canadian infantry captured an intact panther at the river Sario. The tank was handed to the Canadians' armoured support, the British 21st Tank Brigade, and issued to one of the brigade's units, the 145th Regiment Royal Armoured Corps. This unit had been formed in July 1940 by re-rolling an infantry battalion, in this case the 8th Battalion, Duke of Wellington's regiment. The regiment consisted of four Sabre squadrons, two using the Sherman tank and two the redoubtable Churchill. The captured German Panther was, in common with all British tanks, given a name, and the 145th Regiment chose Deserter, as it seemed most appropriate. The Panther may have remained in its original German dirty dark yellow paint scheme, or been repainted olive drab, but the British added the turret number 10, a yellow triangle signifying A Squadron, and above that the coloured badge of the 21st Tank Brigade. Serving with A Squadron, Deserter saw some action, including bombarding a German observation post on the 11th of November 1944. Tragically, the Panther's British gunner was killed when he dismounted for some reason and stepped on an anti-personnel mine. Soon, however, Deserter was withdrawn from combat and sent for testing. The 21st Tank Brigade was interested to discover how a German Panther measured up against their Sherman and Churchill tanks. In one-on-one -on -one tests, the Panther conducted mobility testing on soft terrain. Deserter proved as good or better than the Allied armour though at one point jammed while in reverse. It was also noted that Deserter was far too wide for the British Army's Bailey Bridges, engineers had erected over Italian rivers, making keeping Deserter on the 145th Regimental Strength impractical. The ultimate fate of Deserter is not clear, but she was most probably scrapped towards the end of the war. So it's interesting to note that the British successfully operated two Panthers during the European campaign, albeit for only short periods, and both Cuckoo and Deserter saw action against their home country. Ultimately, neither tank could be kept operational for long due to it not matching the other unit's vehicles, its greater size, and of course its dangerous silhouette that could have led to a blue-on-blue -blue contact. Thanks for watching, subscribe and share and help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.